Welcome to Module 3 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to format worksheets and workbooks, including how to change the worksheet tab color, rename a worksheet, insert and delete columns and rows, change the workbook themes, adjust the row height and column width, and insert headers and footers. Learning this will help you customize the look and feel of your workbook and stay better organized within your project. To change the colors of the spreadsheet tabs, right-click on the tab you'd like to change. Click on Tab Color and then choose the color you'd like to use. For this workbook, let's change the color of Sheet 1 to blue so you can easily distinguish this tab as the one with temperature data on it. For Sheet 2, change the tab color to yellow. Now, customize your tabs further by giving them a name. Right-click on the tab for Sheet 1 and select Rename. Then type in Temperature as the tab name. You can also rename the worksheet by double-clicking on the tab. For Sheet 2, rename it Ice Levels. Rename Sheet 3 to Students. Sheet 4 to 2015, and the last tab to Trends. Many times after you've already entered data in a worksheet, you will need to insert additional rows or columns. There are two ways to do this. From the top ribbon, return to the Home tab. Let's say you want to insert a column between Year and January. Click Column Header B to highlight the entire column. Now go to the ribbon, click Insert, and a new column will appear. By default, new columns will always appear to the left of the highlighted column. When inserting a new row, the blank row will go above the row you selected. Modifying the height of rows and widths of columns can make a worksheet's contents easier to read and increase its visual appeal. Let's change the width of column B, which we just inserted. There are two ways to do this. First, we can use the ribbon. From the Home tab, click Format, then Column Width. Type in the width you'd like. Another way is to click on the line between B and C. Now click and drag to make the column wider or thinner. To delete the column, right-click Column Header B and choose Delete. Another way to customize the look and feel of your workbook is by using themes. Let's start by formatting individual cells. Highlight the title cells along your chart, which are cells A4 through M4. Click and drag to highlight all the cells at once. On the Home tab, in the Styles group, click the Cell Styles button arrow and then select Accent 3. A light gray background is applied to the cell range. The font changes to Calibri and the font color changes to white. To change the theme of the entire worksheet, Go to the Page Layout tab and click Themes. Choose Badge. You can add headers or footers to your worksheets to provide useful information about the worksheet. Click the View tab and then in the Workbook Views group, click the Page Layout button to view headers and footers. Click the Center Header text box which displays the Add Header placeholder text. Click the Header and Footer Tools Design tab now that it has become active. In the Header and Footer Elements group, click Sheet Name. The code AND tab appears in the text box. Click in the left header text box and type your name. In the Navigation group, click Go to Footer. In the Header and Footer group, click the Footer button arrow and then click the option in the list that begins with Confidential. 
This footer option combines the text confidential with the current date and the page number. To return to the normal view, click anywhere outside the header and footer. Go to the View tab and click Normal. The header and footer will only show when printed. You can preview this by going to File, then Print in what is known as Backstage View.